What's up guys, Nolan here, and with the new customs expansion, I figured it's time to go through some shooter board in heaven spots. It all comes down to a player being where you need them to be at the right time. The best chances that you have at a player being where you need them to be is for it to be off of spawn. A minute after spawning, people can be anywhere. If you get a good spawn like the ones I'm about to show you, and you make your way to one of these locations, you'll be in a great position to get shots on players running through. Each of these spots, again, are based off of your spawn. If you don't get a good spawn to get at these locations as soon as possible then scrap worrying about this task for this raid and just do something else maybe you'll get lucky along the way otherwise you could be in for a very long wait and any kills that you do get might not end up being at 100 meters based off of where people will be coming from this first spawn in my mind is now one of the best that you can get on this map for shooter born in heaven spots you're gonna have shots on substation hill and the train fence jump spot these were where i got one of my headshots specifically on the substation hill but i came close to getting another one at the fence jump and now that warehouse four is open if i were you guys i would take advantage of the holes in the windows overlooking the new area you can also see substation hill from the lower level as well on this platform and on that forklift I call this area the fixed stairs because it's not a full building really and you used to not be able to get up these stairs, hence fixed stairs. You have great shots all around between old construction, train bridge, and pretty much the entire new area of customs. I would try getting shots on people around new construction as they enter it and around the new medical building for sure. You also have great shots on people as they enter old construction, whether it be from the elbow or through hole in the walls as well. Most of the hot spots that you will see people here should be around 100 meters or more. The next two spots will be in old construction with this super dangerous but sometimes worth it dumpster spot. More and more people are starting to pay attention to this spot, so it's going to take some cojones to sit up here, but you have shots on the car bridge and the route to dorms as well. If you have a friend with you that can sit on the three-story dorms hill and get people crossing to put their heads down, you should actually have easy flanking shots on them. The top floor of old construction is where I have always gotten at least one of my headshots because of its sight lines. You can see all over the place from vehicle bridge to train bridge and the route to train bridge through fixed stairs. With the expansion, you might have good shots on people around the new medical building as well. If you are quick, you might be able to get across from one of the train wreck spawns or cut across from the eastern spawns to ambush people here. When it comes to spawns around Big Red, people love to get across and spawn camp, but lots of people like to sit on this bus stop shack. I personally like to sit on this tank because it will hide your profile better, but it's up to you for either. You can get lucky here for Shooter Born in Heaven, but usually I try to get to old construction, if not scrap the idea from this spawn, since this is one of the best spawns to get to the center of the map first. Another ballsy spot and one that I use to get one of my headshots this wipe is this train jump spot in front of of big red you can see everything on the other side of the river and now also have great shots into the expansion area as well you can get lucky when getting here early for shots around big red but most of the time you'll see people within 100 meters and if you make too much noise somebody will probably bop you from somewhere you're not looking this works well as a spot for the entire raid though and not just early because of its location so i would try this out for sure if you can no matter the time of the raid this is the last spot that i use to get my headshots this way if you spawn on the downhill to metal bridge sprint up here for shots on people as they cross the land bridge don't mess around too long though because you'll likely have people come up behind you if you're solo so i would move to old construction after about a minute tops then last but not least we have the dirtiest of the dirty spots i've been keeping this spot away from people because i didn't want to see it used but i've been seeing people up here so i guess the word is out now and i want to make sure you guys know about it so that you can watch out for it this spot has very similar shots as the train spot from before but now you have the exit camping too. If you sit up here, you have a very good chance to spot people as they come across the map to use any of the exits here. You have shots on RUAF, you will have shots as people cross for trailer park or crossroads, and you have anybody who tries to use smuggler's boat absolutely dead to rights, which makes this spot pretty dirty. If you are going to use the boat exit these days, make sure to take a peek up here before you break the tree line to see if someone's waiting for you. The key to getting the headshots themselves is preparation and actually a lot of luck. For preparation, you don't actually need a giant 
giant scope to get this done. I actually got nine, so all but one of my headshots using the P-Lab on a stock M700. The other one was with a PSO while I was working on my SVD kills. The Elcan and Valde on a semi-auto weapon will do great for most people. Usually they're accurate enough to hit the stationary targets, and if you need to, you can pop them a few times to drain their stamina or break legs, so they'll be moving a little slower for you. Not to mention weapons like that are better for the entirety of the raid and not just this one moment. Past your gear preparation, there's also your location and timing. If you aren't seeing anybody, then move to a new spot and try your luck there. If you still haven't seen anybody, think about getting out of the raid and resetting. It is all about timing. The longer you wait, the less PMCs there will likely be on the map. Resetting your raid will make better use of your time if you're feeling unlucky. The key behind getting this entire task finished is by passive play. Don't focus on this task unless you absolutely have to on your way to Kappa. Instead, worry about other tasks for each of these locations, and while you're there, keep 100 meter headshots in the back of your mind. Next time you see somebody looting a body or something that's pretty far away, just think about maybe backing up a bit just in case. If you use optics like the Elcan or ACOG, the little lines going down the crosshairs are there to help gauge distance. Those represent the common width of a man's shoulders. If your target's torso fits in that line, then you should be good. That's it for today, guys. If you want to learn more about Escape from Tarkov or its development, then you can check out my playlist for it here. If you're looking for people to play with, then you can join our Discord below. If you like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys. I dropped someone at machine gun.